Hello and welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 29. So in the previous lecture we imported the grass and we created a particle system to spread it all over the plane, over the terrain. And we used the weight layer to uh, have a lot of grass in front of the camera and the more you go to the background it will uh, fade away. So something else what I like to add is leaves because we now have trees in the scene. We haven't made them yet, but uh, we will arrive there soon. But first, I'd like to start with the dead leaves. So I like to hide the terrain and I like to enable the nature, disable the grass, and go for a new collection, new, and I call this dead underscore leaves. And let's import this. Origin is a little bit distracting. <laughs> Just leave it there. No comment on that. And I import my dead leaves plane and I scale this a little bit. It's just uh, a preview. And there we have it. The sun lamp is not necessary. Uh, scale this a little. So we have this in the front and I like to add a plane. Where is the plane? Oh, there it is. Ah, nice origin. Oh, this is the 3D curse. It's not an origin. I'm sorry for the confusing. And now my plane is gone. Great work. So drag this plane and rotate it. Rx90. So we have it right there. Let's call this dead. Leave. And we drag this to the plane. And GY. So control point it's selected in the middle and move it a little bit upwards go to the edit mode and scale it down and we move this a little bit to the left and scale it perfect so I like to scale and extrude it a little bit so we start with the the rear ones as a Z and put them right there and we extrude it a little bit more yes something like this will do as Z as Z all right and we extrude it and we're making leaves so we will do a couple of ones together and then you can do it yourself and it's very important you'll learn how to do that it will be useless to do this step by step in this tutorial it's uh, a time-consuming work and as long you know how to do it you can do it yourself so this is a very rough shape I like to add some edge lines one two three and I like to go to the wireframe so now I like to positionize these a little bit more put these right there great hey can be right there and I want to have this middle edge lines because we have two rows over there and two in the top I like to get this line of the dead leaves in the middle and skill is a little bit all right this one looks good to me so we have one leaf and let's say I will shift duplicate it and we going to transform this a little bit let's have this you can now select all the vertices scale it in edit mode and we're going to tweak it so after this one we will do one more together and then yeah you can uh, as an exercise continue doing this by yourself so we rotate it and we scale it and again it's not about rushing your work as long as you're doing it right you will see it in the end result very important there was a time I was very rushed and want to do it quickly but it was always you can always see that in the final result and then you think I had to spend a bit more time on it so that's what we do and you will be happy with the final results. I promise you. 
All right, so again, we want to have this middle line exactly in line with the dead leaf, like the, sort of the core. That's good. And it's no problem you won't see the ends because it's just a very small glimpse of the texture. So uh, we'll be good. Great, so I will copy the, the, the original one, Shift D. Let's go to the modeling tab because we have more material preview no but <laughs> we do not have material we want to go to the wireframe I'm sorry for this good so again I like to scale this a little bit as X so that will be enough and scale it yes and we grab the next row and SC and we are almost there so grab these and you want to have this line in the middle I mean you get the workflow it's not that hard right we had bigger challenges together <laughs> all right so as long they are spread all over the leaf it is a great good so you can continue doing this I will recommend that you grab the original one and duplicate it and you have to do uh, four more all right so we'll pause the video and see you in a second and welcome back so I created multiple versions of the leaf and before we end this lecture I want to say it is very important that you have this origin somewhere in the middle so to do that you go to the edit mode you move your your up uh, your leaf and you put this in the uh, origin so for example if your origin is right there I mean this can be the situation you move, put it right there and you move it on the leaf and don't get these outer areas on your uh, leaf uh, very important as well and that is pretty much it I hope it worked be aware you have the middle line always uh, in the middle of the leaf you can see this is a sort of a main root right there and in the following lecture we will spend some time on that and why that is so important all right i hope you enjoy this that you'll learn some things about this uh, we also have to tweak the material so uh, a lot of things to do and in the meantime i see some little problematic modeling and i have to fix that so some simple fine tuning all right see you in the next lecture bye bye